Hey there, in today's video, we're going to compare two autoresponders, SendLane and ActiveCampaign. They're very similar, but there are some things that are different, and that's what we're going to compare today. My name is Vanessa DeBerlain. Thank you for coming to my channel. On my channel, I am here to help you earn money, save time, and find balance in your life. So today we're going to talk about saving some time, finding an autoresponder that does just a little bit more than some of the others. There are tons of them out there, so do your research. But I wanted to compare these two because this is um, two of the autoresponders that I found met most of my needs and I started comparing them to see you know which one do I like better than the other I went ahead and brought up two demo accounts because I don't want to bring up the account that I did choose because you need to choose what you think is best for you but there's pros and cons and I really had a hard time <laughs> so you decide all right so let's talk about um, just in general how what the general um, features are. You already should know about email marketing at this point if you're looking for an autoresponder. If you have no idea what it does, I have an email list series in my channel where I go over what is an email, what is email marketing, and some of the features. So check out that link if you absolutely don't know what email marketing is. This probably won't make sense. For those of you that do and you're looking for an autoresponder, stick around. All right, I am in Send Lane right now and they have their audience which is contacts they send campaigns which are groups of emails that you might send if you're selling a certain product you call it a campaign you can do that automated automations those are automations are your sequence that you might send out like 40 of them to every single new person that comes in you know kind of like that first sequence automations um, they have a beacon they have pop-ups pop-ups are um, things that you can add on your web page where you might say, hey, you know, you might want to use SendLane. So you could drive people to SendLane and earn a commission as an affiliate, and they have pop ups to help you do that. Um, integrations, where if you're integrating with a funnel builder like ClickFunnels, it'll integrate. And if you go to that page, it's got tons of different in integrations. And then your account. Now, if you noticed, Active campaign is very, very similar. I had to put my name in this one to get it activated. Um, but you have your contacts, which is your audience, campaigns, automations, conversations. Um, so they um, push more for you to have a relationship with your email list and you can track and analyze conversations. So that's different. Um, of course, lists and forms. If you notice, there are no pop-ups on this one. So, and the other one does have the pop-ups. All right, so now this is one of the things that I found were, that were different um, automations. When you do an automation with Active Campaign, it's amazing. Um, you can go in and trigger certain tag words to come in. I'm gonna just, I just, I just did like a, a sample for you. But you can go in and trigger it to start the uh, sequence and then you can tell it when to start the next one. Now, I know you've been in other autoresponders and you can do that, right? You can say, send it in two days. Well, in here, you can say, yes, send it in two days, but I want it delivered on a weekday. You can even pick the certain day of the week. If you want your emails to always come in on a certain day, you can do that. Or you could say sometime during the week. And you can also tell it what time you want it to come in. So that's pretty cool. Um, I have used other responder, other autoresponders that don't do that. They don't allow me to specify when I want it delivered. So therefore, my emails could be getting put into their inbox at 1 o'clock in the morning. And then by the first time the person looks at it in the afternoon, it's gone. So that's what I like about this so here you just hit the plus sign and and it'll ask you um, what new action I want to send an email I so I hit send an email and then it'll say which one do you want to send and then I'll I had a test email okay well then you can hit another plus sign under that so I said wait one day by saying conditions and workflow well what are the conditions I want to wait until certain conditions are met and the conditions that I want met are uh, select a condition I I want to pick what day my site date and time okay I'm just showing you because I'm gonna do the same thing on the other one so we're comparing okay so bear with me uh, current day of the week so I want to pick a certain day of the week and I'm gonna say it is 
a weekday. It has to be a weekday. I don't care what day. I could say, oh, I only want them delivered every Tuesday. That's fine. And then I want another condition. I want it at a certain time. So I can say time, date and time again. And it says oh, contacts is time zone. So I want their time zone. And it, I want it to be, what's that say? One o'clock. That's fun. Whoops. I almost closed it. I want it to be, yes, what time? Open it up. Those are AM, by the way. Keep going down. We're doing military time. Okay, so if you want it to be 1 o'clock, it would actually be 13 hours. So just pointing that out, don't hit the 1. It'll be 1 AM. And then save it. So I can do that all the way through and tell it exactly what I want it to do. Now, this here popped up. It says, is there a time limit? And you might say, well, give it three chances up to um three days don't wait any longer than that so if those conditions are not met within three days just go ahead and send it which they should be because you have the weekend so you want to say within three days all right so you go through and you keep adding emails and you keep putting that in there now you can copy that and bring it down okay but you have to copy this how many days do you want to wait and then you have to copy the conditions that's okay but let's go over to SendLane and check this out. Now on SendLane, we're going to do an automation. It keeps asking me to import my list. And like I said, these are two um, trials. And that's what I recommend you do. do. When you go in anything, any tool that you sign up for, always take advantage of that 30-day trial or 14-day trial because you might get in there and go, you know, this isn't really what I want. I'm, I'm looking for something else and you're not committed. So, um, and definitely... <laughs> Some, well, we'll get into the pricing in a minute, but definitely check them out first because there, there are a lot out there and I'm not saying these are the best. These are, I like them. Okay. It just happens to be something I like. So we're going to do an automation. So you're going to click automation on the side and I started one. I just called it welcome new contacts. We're going to open that up. I paused you for a minute. I am on a satellite. So you can even do an online business out in the middle of nowhere on a satellite. I just want to put that plug there. It just takes a little bit longer and you have to be patient. So I didn't make you wait. All right. So I'm in the automation and here I have to say, what is the trigger? Anybody that subscribes to a certain list and I can go in and pick that. But this is what I want to show you. So I'm going to hit this plus sign and my action is send a message. Okay. We did that send an email okay now it's going to say send an email to contacts okay and then i create my email so we're going to we're going to get out of that real quick because i want to go to the trigger or to the um, time it does the same thing so now i want to hit conditions timing all right so now we're going to go to timing notice there's only one block and it says, how long do you want to wait? I want to wait um, one day before I send this. Um, do, you want to, do you want to wait until a specific time of the day? Yeah, I do. And last time I said 1 o'clock, right? So we're going to go to 1,300 hours. Okay. And now it says, do you want to do it on a certain day of the week? Sure. Do you see how easy this is? And what did we say before Tuesday? Boom, we're done. Okay. That's the pro of SendLane. I love that I could just do all that in one, one box. Boom, boom, boom. Um, when I copy and paste it, copy and paste it, it's, it's all ready to go. Or I can just go in. It wasn't that hard to do. So in my opinion, SendLane wins on that one. But now let's look at pricing, okay? When you pay for pricing, one of the things that you want to research when you're comparing your autoresponders is a lot of times some of the companies will say it will be really low to start like this one is $15 a month if you have 500 contacts or less which is great if you're starting out but you have to remember do not I'm gonna tell you this I say it all the time do not go pick an autoresponder because they're cheap because when you grow your business for instance, MailChimp cannot handle, it's a free autoresponder, but they are not created to handle 20,000, 
email addresses. And that's what you hope to grow to. You want to build a business. You're not playing. Yes, you want the breaks when you're new and they're there, but don't go for cheap. Don't go for free because it's not going to always be that way. Okay. So pay attention to, let's say our goal is to get to 25,000 emails. It sounds like it's out there and it's far away, but it really isn't. All right. So auto campaign lets you start at $15 a month if you have 500 or less. And you can even pay for a year if you want. And you can pay, it comes out to $9 a month. So you're going to save six times $12. So $60, $72 if you pay by the year. Now, our hope is that you wouldn't stay there. But let's look at the same level. Let's look at SendLane. SendLane, actually, I don't even think, let's go to 500, 500. Okay, what's their price there? 500. They actually consider you to be a thousand or less and they call their lowest program $25 a month if you pay by the year and $300 if you pay annually. Now, if you want to pay monthly, it's $35. Now, that's a difference, 15 to 35. Now, if you get up to a thousand, let's compare a thousand to a thousand. Let's just grow slowly, okay? And we're, we'll stick with monthly, okay? Because most of us are going to pay monthly in the beginning. We're new. Um, you're not sure if this is where you want to go. I wouldn't recommend paying by the year until you're in a couple months. I mean, that's just me because um, you get overzealous and then find out, oh, whoops, it's not what I wanted. Okay, there's a thousand. So this one monthly goes to 29 for active campaign and send lane goes to 35. There's a $6 difference, not a lot. So if you want the convenience of those steps <laughs> that you're gonna save, pay a little bit more money for it. And also, if you're in affiliate marketing, I have not had problems, but I see a lot on Facebook that people are leaving Active Campaign because Active Campaign is not affiliate marketing friendly. But to be honest, if you're spamming and not doing affiliate marketing correctly, then you'll get kicked off. Um, Sendlane doesn't want you spamming either, but I think they're a little bit more, um, they have more grace for affiliate marketers. Um, they actually promote a lot for affiliate marketers. So you, you need to look at that as well. What kind of emails are you sending? I tend to send my customers to a funnel and to a bridge and then the link for the affiliate program, they've got to give me their email address and all that before they even see it. So there's not any spamming going on. Let's go up to 5,000. Let's pull this little bar across, 5,000. I don't know why that didn't work, so we'll hit five because my computer's slow. Now, 5,000, it goes to $99 a month for SendLane. Let's see what Active Campaign goes to. Look at that, now they're $10 difference, okay? I wanna go up to 20,000. I want to, I do, let's go 25,000, 225 a month for active campaign. You're thinking, oh my gosh, what am I getting myself into, right? Never thought about it. Well, now they're saying contact us. It looks like they want you to go to the pro program. Um, let's bring it down to 20,000 and see if they have a price because I really want to compare. Oh, it still says contact us. They feel like you've grown. <laughs> Interesting. And they're still saying it with, uh, so it looks like they're really trying to get you to go to the growth, the pro program. So at 25,000, let's just compare it. They're moving you up to 319 a month and active campaign is at 225. Um, for their plus program, oh, look at this. See, there's a difference. The plus program becomes 399 on active campaign and 319 on send lane. So send lane, you can start paying less as you grow and getting more features and e uh, active campaign, you're going to pay more as you grow. Let's do one more. I want to see 50,000. I'm just curious at this point what happens. 50,000. Will it even go that high? There's 75. Let's go to 50. 50,000. So SendLane uh, keeps you at 299 if you're on their light program, but then they want you to get pricing as it goes up. Interesting. 
and that was active campaign send lane let's go to 50,000 50,000 and now they're higher 449 so you really I know you're probably thinking that's a lot of money just to send emails but if you're setting up your sequences properly and you're doing your email marketing properly and you've learned the skills this money won't mean anything and remember you can write all of this off um, a lot of people don't realize that all these things that you're spending money on just keep track on an Excel spreadsheet or someplace and keep track because when it comes time to pay Uncle Sam you're gonna fill out a Schedule C and you can deduct all these expenses but you have to have good record so if you're not doing that do it now start all right so there you go send lane versus active campaign you're going to need to make the decision um, which one that you want if you're uh, comparing between the two all right um, check out my email playlist below and I also have a link for send lane and I have a link for active campaign if you want to go in like I did and get the two trial periods um, you might even get one trial period go in and play around just put a few names in there maybe some of your family members just to play around and see and do the same thing with active campaign and then compare and which one you know do you like better um, that's what it all boils down to all right thank you for visiting my channel and I'll see you on the next video